Welcome to day two of buying a storage unit in every single state across America. Today we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we already secured us a storage unit. Yesterday we finished up our first storage unit in Los Angeles, California, and made $135 for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, but we couldn't sell that guitar. So before we get into our storage unit, we're gonna head to a family music store and see if we can sell that guitar for even more money for them. Made it to Family Music Center, let's take the guitar in. Hi. I just want you guys to take a look at this. I got it out of a storage unit. I don't know anything about it. I wouldn't say it's worth very much. The bridges are lifting off, so. At this point, I feel like we need to name this guitar and it's like our new best friend. We need to buckle it up in the back seat or something because we can't get rid of it right now. Nobody else might not love you, guitar, but I do. You know what, this guitar's new name is Garrett and I swear we will find Garrett a new loving home before we get home. Guys, go to the comments right now and say I love Garrett. We made it to the storage unit. We only paid $220 for this one. Let's get into it. This one looks so much nicer. And we paid just about half. Let's start digging through this one to see what we can get. Look at that box over there. That looks fancy, that orange one. I don't like to get into that. Let's see if it's in the yep. suitcase. Did we just lose our light? Can <laughs> light you still see me? There. Right now, uh, yeah. Okay. This feels very light, so I'm gonna assume there's nothing in it. Open up. Why is it not? stuff? Oh no, I'm, oh, I'm just doing it the wrong way. <laughs> It's, well, it's not empty completely. What is that? A headrest for a plane, it looks like. Armani exchange hat. All right. Uh, what is that? Towels, black and gold, Los Angeles, earmuff. And this right here, what, why is it still so hard? Oh, it's hanger, that's why. Couple t-shirts, Aero Pastel, uh, Aero Pastel. They're all Aero Pastel shirts and one guest shirt. So nothing too expensive. Let's go into this little crate. What's in this first? What in the world is this piece right here? I don't know. Does that answer my question? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So we don't know what that little guy is. We'll set it right here. Then part random, random. There's some jumper cables. Is there anything under it? This, what is that? This looks like a manual out of a vehicle. It's exactly what it is, isn't it? A 2015 Honda book. And some toilet paper, you know? Ooh, what about this? If it was 2020, I'd be really happy with that roll of toilet paper. But you know, I think we're kind of back to normal now. A this pin? is just a little pin. It looks like it's upside down. A little angel pin. What is this thingy? I thought it was like a table or something, but I don't know what this is. Oh, it closes. Oh. So it's like a little enclosure, but they got stuff in here. Are these trash bags? No, what the heck is this? Like some color, multicolored film? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's used for. Yeah, I have no idea what the purpose of that would be. A Best Buy bag. Is it all closed in here? Let's see. Come on. Rip it open. Or if it is, it is in Vegas. We're in Vegas. So this is like designer heaven too. So if there's one place I want to look at the clothes, it's here. Because all it takes is one slot machine and you know, some guy's out buying Gucci and Louis Vuitton, this and that. Uh, this is Nike bag, but there's something inside of it. Duffel bag, but it's not an empty one. Where is the zipper? You know, I struggle so bad with zippers. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Because they're just weird. Like the way they're designed just seems stupid. What is this? There's just a little bag inside. It's got like a little, it's a little miniature, like tripod thing to hold your phone. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a camera or a GoPro in there to go with it. There's something in the side too though. Let's see what's in the side pocket. A bag? Really? Okay. What about this one? That one is empty. All right, maybe it's at the bottom of the box. Nice leather jacket. What brand is that here? Give me something good. Give me something good. It's upside down. Anonymous. Okay. Inside. It's anonymous. We don't know what it is. This is nothing. And this is another, what is that? Bag? That's a seat cover car, for a car. Yeah. What in the heck is this stuff used for? That film. It yeah. looks like more film. Yeah, I have no idea what it's used for. If you know, enlighten us in the comments. And don't forget, every single thing is going to have to be sold the same day, 99% donated. We're only taking the best items and donating all the money to St. Jude's. Remember, this is a community effort. For every like these videos receive and every new subscriber they receive, we're putting a penny in a pot and making one massive donation at the end. So help us out. Let's help as many people as we can. Back to the unit. We got a little stool or is it a chair i think it's more of a chair if we get tired there's somewhere to sit and relax but now i can get right. to the next book bag oh no this one's a lot heavier than the other one that's more like it. come on it's a nautica bag we want some expensive las vegas stuff right right we're in vegas we need to hit it vegas over here it's locked it? look they locked it i can't pull it apart i have to be able to pull these apart to get it open so we gotta find a way to break this lock so i didn't figure this out yet but i did open this part and i saw the little mercedes benz thingy i don't know what it is but i'm gonna open it really quick it's well it's just a is it a uh, vest yeah i think it's a it is a vest so that hey look this will help us we were just saying we had to go to walmart to buy a new trash bag there we go uh this is heavy here what is that 
This is, oh look, it's the Mercedes Benz booklet, isn't it? So somebody has a Mercedes Benz. Uh, this is just information on that. These actually do have resale value. If I was at home, this would be something you could put on eBay and make money for. Uh, this right here, what is this? Oh, Whoa. what is that? Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Need extra cash? You see these people right here? I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh my God. I don't like those people. This is, oh, I'm so, oh, that, that got me. That got me. This is a DMV registration book. That's all it is, is the car's registration. And then this right here, looks like the plates to the car, isn't it? We do have the guy's name right here. So there's that, we can look into this guy, but anything else in here? No, now we really, there's another section actually, look, right here. We can get into it over here. Can you see it? Yeah. There's something in this too. What are these? Are these all receipts or what? This looks like somebody that hit it in Vegas and a bunch of, yeah, receipt cards, hotel cards. And what are these trip advisor things? Like, what are these? We can check the hotel cards. Remember, some people keep cash. Yeah, we're things. definitely going to have to do that. I'm going to set these out because right now all, all I see is cards, but that is a place people put cash in. So we're going to look in those in a second. The more of this film. Hey, Penny. a little bag of pennies, change. I mean, that's not a lot of money, but that's something. That could be signs of what's to come. Maybe it's just the beginning. Hey, some black bag and more bags. We can always use these. What are these air tight bags like this? There's nothing. This is so strange. Oh look, some hotel keys for the Luxor. That's where we stayed last time we were in Vegas. But nothing else is in there. So how do we get into this? I mean, oh, realistically, I mean, I we're just... in a rental car on the other side of the country. We don't have none of our stuff. I'm really gonna have to break it. I mean, do you yeah. see another option? No. I mean, how do I break it, you think? Twist? Twist the lock? Yeah, it's not doing anything. Ugh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're really gonna have to figure this out. I don't know how to do it. Sometimes you gotta work with what you have. I don't have pliers, but I do have jumper cables. This might be the first ever broken lock due to jumper cables, but I don't see any other choice right now. You ready? Should I just yeah. pull it really hard. Oh, it's not gonna work, is it? We need to get a full, get the whole mouth on it. There we go. Now get on the lock. Get on the lock. I can't get it. It's like the lock's too small. I'm gonna pull it really hard. Ready? Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Yeah. It opened. Did it? Hey. I can't believe that just worked. Hey. Jumper hey. Cable. If you ever need to get into a safe and you have jumper cables in your trunk, it works. <laughs> Let's see what's inside the bag. First, I'm going to zip the top so it doesn't fall everywhere. Ooh. Oh, no, Louis is that a Louis Vuitton bag? Look, this is a Louis Vuitton lock. You see that? So I'm going to assume, I mean, I could be completely wrong. Some of this stuff is going to be real. But let's look in the wallet. Oh, it's got cards in it. No cash, but it does have a little nickel in it. So it technically has cash, but it looks personal. This right here, little Louis Vuitton wallet. Look at that. That's so cool. That's probably got some value though. This empty bag. Um, what else do we got in here? These? What is that? I mean, it's a storage box, but... Is there anything it's... in there? Oh, it's just like a travel kit probably. Yeah. All right, we'll just set that right here too. What else do we got in here? U.S. Polo there. What's that? Uh, makeup? Are these all eyelashes? Look. Yep. These are all eyelashes. I have no idea if these could be expensive or not. Maybe we'll have to go look somewhere. This is going to be a very uncomfortable experience to go to a makeup store. That's all you. That's not me. Well, I don't know if makeup stores would resell it, but we could try. You can at least see what it's worth. This is empty. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a Louis Vuitton box. That's a Louis box. I, what did I just say five minutes ago? That people come to Vegas, they win a lot of money, and they buy stupid designer stuff like Gucci and Louis. All right, first, we'll get to that slowly. What's in here? This has got stuff in it as well. Come on. Random. I'm just going to dump it out. Uh, What is that? What the heck is this? It looks like a little miniature gun, doesn't it? Oh, look. There's a coach box, too. All right, but this, I want to see what this is. What in the heck is that? Mm, a lighter? Lighter? Turn it oh. around, turn it around. You think I just burned myself? <laughs> you could have. I could have. See, this is why I'm not a safe person, Emma. But you know what is in here? A little miniature multi tool, which might come in a lot handy being yeah. on the road with nothing. I'm going to put that in my pocket. This, did I already go in here? Is this the makeup one? Not that. Okay, now what's in this one? This one's just got the strap in it. Bamboo charcoal. Okay, okay. This, uh, bathroom thing. All right, let's address Blue the elephant in the room. Oh, that's not empty. But hold on, hold on, hold on, there's something over here. There's Vine Vera Skin Care. All right, come on, Louis Box, you ready? Yeah. Um, well, what is that? Warning, keep this bag away from babies and children. What brand is this, though? That's the question. Lancome? It's a few bags, yeah, but I don't see Louis Vuitton on okay. it. What about this? Ooh, this, this has got something in it right here. Oop. This has got little boxes in it. Mm. Let's see what that is. What the heck is this? A Apple Watch Magnetic Charging Deck. Nice, isn't it? Sweet. That's something we could probably get a little bit of cash for. From like a pawn shop or something around here. This is more headphones. A little lightning to headphone jack. All right, we'll set that aside. What about this right here? This gotta be something in here. Come on. This has got, what, is this a checkbook? 
Well, I guess that means we can write ourselves a check for whatever we'd like, right? Yeah. This coach right here, I think this is gonna be what it is. It feels like a purse. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it a coach though? Where's the logo? Yeah, look at that. Hey. It's a brand new coach bag. What was that? That was a band-aid. A band-aid. A brand new coach bag in the thing, in the little whatever this, what is this called? A just, dust protector a or dust, something? I don't, don't call it that. <laughs> in that in the louis vuitton so we'll put this little coach box in it but so far this is definitely our top five so this is just like a protective sleeve i want to see what's in this giant thing of crap basically what is this is this just like a mattress an air mattress maybe or a sleeping bag i want to open it up all the way to make sure there's nothing you know wound up inside of it before we just assume it's nothing but yeah i think that's exactly what it is it's a giant blow up look you think it's an air mattress throw it over here <laughs> and just get it out the way because those things are very 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 annoying this is what i wanted to go in and what do you think that is I don't know. I mean it looks pretty designer-y to me i think i see something on do it you? <laughs> i zoomed in i saw a black lettering on it i don't know what it said don't tell me don't tell me don't tell me all right Let's go in this duffel bag right here first. Come on, be something cool, be something cool, be something cool, be something cool. Be something cool. It is clothes, but clothes in Las Vegas not necessarily mean bad thing. Look at all these folded shirts. That's not what we're looking for. We'll look through them though, because you know, a Gucci shirt or something could be a big thing. This, has this got tags on it? Look, it's got tags on it. Unfeathered is what it says on it. It doesn't have a price tag on it. All these do. 88 bucks for this shirt, look. 80, hold on. So hold on. Let's set this right here. We're gonna go through both of those bags in a second. Let's finish going through here first. This, a coat that I'll also wanna look at. The rest of it just kinda loose clothes. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But this kinda ugly stuff, like this is this is what designer looks like. No, it's American rag. So we're gonna take this bag and toss it to the side. Hold on. And now, I wanna look in here because these look brand new. This whole thing looks brand new. Like I said, look at this little sweater right here. It's the brand on this guy is unfettered. That's the one I just said. It has like an 80, or just the one that had 87 dollars price tag on it. Okay, so that one just has nothing on it, but it's brand new. This guy right here, fur, first of a kind. Look, that's got that on there. And that one does have $88 price tag on it, which is kind of crazy. So all this stuff right here about to be brand new. This one, this is just from Old Navy, but it is brand new. So it looks like they might have just had a bunch of brand new clothes. Ginger Snap, brand new. And this guy, I don't see a tag on it. So this one might not be brand new. But now I'm gonna look at the coat in the DSW bag. Because if there's a bunch of brand new clothes, that could definitely be worth something. How the heck do I undo it? Pull it apart. All right, that's one way to do it. Nice little Nike jacket. I don't see a tag on it though. So more likely a donation. It is getting close to winter. Let's pull out one of these and see if they're brand new. If it's not, then we'll assume they're all used. This guy, see a tag? No, so these are probably just used shirts. My turn now. Going into the first gray tote of the unit. Let's see what's in it. So we have right off the top, clothing covers, a bag, a piece to a vacuum. This looks like one of the nice Dyson ones, but I'm not sure. More of that film. What is that stuff for? I don't know. It just says Color Express on the bottom. Here's a pair of, it looks like Crocs, but I don't see the Croc brand on it. Here's the main part of the vacuum, I guess, right? Yeah. The little the hand Hoover. vacuum, Hoover vacuum. All right, this thing, I think it's just, you know, one of those like cat toy things, cause it has a hole in the middle, just yeah. like a tunnel. Maybe for kids toy, two, not toys. This is just rags and there's one bag down here. Let's see if that has anything in it. Definitely feels heavy. Um, and in here, it's just vacuum pieces hey. and pliers. I think we should keep these to open potential locks along our journey. We can. So next we have these two Sony, like kind of slim speakers. They are Sony model number SST S52. They're on the back, pretty good condition. So we'll just set these aside for now. Now let's get into this tote, which has more weight than the last one, which is Ooh, good. Yeah. See here, Ooh. hey, okay. It's full to the brim, which is great. This is not a gift card. Some phone cases, what are these cards? Come on, gift cards. Nope, not gift cards. Dang it. <laughs> We'll throw these aside. And what's in this bag? Here's our first patch of paperwork, I guess. Required. Just random paperwork, so we'll go through that later. Don't want to bore you guys with that. Some newspapers. What's in this smaller tote? Tote to tote? Tote to tote. Oh! Oh my what goodness. What are they? I mean, these are literally just like cardboard $100 bills. They're not even like made to look like the <laughs> material is not made to, made to be real. What the? <laughs> this is just wrong. It is just Crawling wrong. on so many levels. Just wrong. Some casino cards. Uh, rest of it looks like bathroom, like hand sanitizer, uh, mascara, stuff like that. All right. Here's a bag. Does it have anything in it? It does no. not. Empty bag. 
about oh another tote of tote. Let's see what's in this Come tote. On. This time the real hundreds. What is that? You know what is this? So oh, I see oh, some what? You might have found jewelry. Did I? It some ran like Ooh, something's in here. What does it say on the front of the bag? Let's see. Lord's water. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is. That's just some fancy water. Okay, I, I don't know if that's fancy water or perfume. You guys will know, I'm sure. All right. So what else is in here? We have Rosario. Okay, so this is some um, religious rosary okay. in here. Don't want to mess that up. I think this is all religious stuff, I think. Is it? Yeah, I don't hmm. know like if it's a specific religion. That's all the Pope. There we go. What's in here? No, the rosary. rosary. All right, put that aside. What else is in here? There's something in here too. I wonder. Is it another rosary? Yeah. All right. All right, and then you can see like there's just little figures in here, another rosary. Hmm. So we'll move that. Hey, there is this the jewelry is. right here? Yeah. But first, there's random stuff in here too. Ooh. Another cross necklace. I don't yeah. know like if it's a, a rosary or you know, like a, a cross. an actual just necklace. Yeah. Um, we have Xbox 360 game Bioshop. Yeah. Kind of random. random. And then we have this card here. See it's if there's the what's in it. in it. Yeah. It looks like postcards from Honolulu. And then this is like a sympathy card. All right. I'll throw this over here. All right, what's down here? Ooh, I see. So we went boxes. through this, went through this. Open this box. Come on, what do gold. I open? This gold, gold, gold. Okay, another rosary. It looks like this looks like another one. And this and thing. Heck? What does it say in there? It says Italy. Look on the bottom. Is that mark? Um, I don't see a mark on the bottom. If that was gold. That would be a lot of it. I know. Um, yeah, I don't see anything marked on there besides oh, Italy. That's a price. Oh, made in Czech Republic. I thought it would be a price tag. All right, what's in this box? Come on. Come on, come on. Hey, a watch. Ooh, a nice looking watch. What okay. brand? It has the, um, gosh, I can't remember the name. Remember we found the bus of her? Oh yeah. Is so that, I can't remember the name of it. Is it marked? All right, let's see. Is it marked with anything? So it has like Egyptian writing on the band. Yeah. Uh, the back just says Swiss part assembled on Hong Kong stainless steel back. Dang it, what about that? Um, down here says stainless steel Hong Kong. Dang it. Yeah, so there's no other markings on there besides that Hong Kong stainless steel. Definitely but nice. we'll definitely set it aside. Come and on. then in here has something. Come on, we don't need a lot of gold. Okay, this is just the, like if you want to wear it over your shoulder. All right. But the brand is that. I don't even, I can't don't pronounce even that. I wouldn't even attempt to pronounce that. <laughs> nope. And then this bag, we have some like beaded jewelry. Um, and what is this thing? Just like a bottle opener. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like the, the four dragons logo from um, San Andreas. Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> so let's set this tote aside. We have the belt. We have some clothes down here. I feel like all this stuff I just went through, I need to throw inside. Yeah, it's Let's definitely nice looking, nicer looking stuff. Okay. To all of this, I'm gonna put it all over here. All right, so this bathroom stuff down here, this is just a bag, it's empty. This is like a steamer, uh, more of the styrofoam stuff. I think the last thing in here is just this bag. Yeah, so we have a Templeton gaming room hat. We have, I thought these were like a sweater, but it's just slippers, <laughs> all right? This thing, maybe you wash a car with it. And this pillow has a zipper. Let me make sure there's nothing hidden in That's here. That's where all the hundreds are. Yeah. So this is a row or a blanket. Next tote, we have this black one down here. Definitely has a lot of weight to it. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> all right, now let's get into this. Not if it's paper though. So right off the bat, we have a bag of paper, which is all I see in there. So we'll throw that aside. What the heck is that? Looks like a Seth Singer on it, so. Ooh. But hold on, this has a receipt in it, and a, what is this? I thought it was a leather jacket. I'm stupid. It's like another car. Another car thing. Yeah. Yeah, another car thing. All right, we'll throw that down here. Another green bag. Doesn't have anything in there. What's in this one? one. Bam. Sewing. Sewing stuff. Oh, a little like hand sewer blanket. Some clothes here. I see some stuff in this corner. I'm trying to see what it is. Um. What does it say? One type charger. One, one power. power. Yeah, some kind of charger for something. It doesn't say. One of these things. We have a little necklace down. Cool. Um, I know it's gonna be really, really small. Can't see anything on it right now, so I'll put that in a pocket. Over here, what license plate cover? Looks like. In here, Singer yeah. sewing machine with a foot pedal. You have a model number on the uh, So I guess Singer solid state. Yeah, I guess so. And then down here we have. Oh, did you hear yeah. that? sound I like to hear. Yeah, did you hear that? Let's put it right here. Just in case I have to dump it out. Ah, toast right. not staying. Stay up, you. All right. Listen. Let's dump it out. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. 
What are you supposed to be? Like purse yeah. handles? Money. Money. <laughs> All right. Uh, these tags that are hanging off don't say anything. Yeah. Okay. So I guess maybe they just go to random purses. So I'm gonna take out these empty boxes real quick. Set them over there, and then we have a box on the floor. Woo! Oh, what's a new box on the floor? I have an idea. DVD. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know that? Well, there may or may not have been a label on the other side of the box. Oh, okay. Well, let me <laughs> open up one, see if they're in there. They are. Some pawn cool. stores will actually buy, not pawn stars, pawn stores, pawn stores <laughs> will buy DVDs for like, what, a quarter or something? Yeah, probably. So we'll take this whole box probably to the pawn shop along with a lot of the other stuff. Let's start pulling down the cardboard boxes in the middle column now. That's like at a weirdly light amount of weight to it, but it looks like a lot of stuff. This is pictures. Uh, do I really want to look at a stranger's pictures from Vegas? Probably not. I don't know, probably not. Let's see. This has got a high flow air filter in it, but it's in there actually. I don't know what these go for. Uh, get out, get out, get out. But I know like car parts, a lot of people like, get a new one and they put the old one in the box. Car people that, that look used, it looks pretty new to that me. Looks new. Yeah, it looks new to me. I think. I think too, with my very limited knowledge. This is an empty box. This is an empty box. This is another empty box. What the heck, what, what, what's up with this? Anything else down there? Some receipts in here. What is this? That's just part of an air mattress thing. There's a picture. This will tell me how bad their pictures are gonna be. Eh, no, they just look like typical, uh, yeah, bro, type <laughs> people. All right, so a lot of empty boxes. Next one. Ooh, this one's got more weight than that one did. I like that. Let's see what's inside of it. We always needed a, like a foot thing, or I don't even know. It's something to do with the eyes, actually. But that's empty. This, Coco. Come on, I don't want food. I don't want food. What's in here? Open up, bag. Let's see. Come on, give me something cool. Something cool, something cool. These are all empty boxes. <laughs> Why do I get all the boxes with empty boxes in them? You all right. Something. This is all like used makeup and random stuff around the, you know, bathroom. Okay, this is getting bad. This right here is papers. Lovely. Oh, that's got something in it. But what? Oh. Well, that's what. That's what. What's in here? Something's in there. Ooh. What is this guy? This is a water flosser. Oh, it's like a water pick. I've seen these before. But it's not all in there. Aero pastel. Uh, it's a metal box. Ooh. It's a Christmas box. Does this mean I get a Christmas present? Mm -hmm. I get. Oh, wow. Really? Whoa. I don't know what all that's used for, but I don't know if I want to know. So. What do we call it? Uh, questionable activity devices. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Th look at this. Oh, another one. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't. Yeah, I think this is a bong. I'm pretty sure it's what it looks like it's gonna be. So I'm not gonna touch this because I don't know what they smoke through it. So we're just gonna put that back in here. Um, anything in this one right here? the heck some dirty slippers okay third box third time's always gotta be a charm let's get the next one so i moved that green box i was talking about and these boxes started falling and i have a bad suspicion about something so i'm gonna test my theory that's empty nike box empty don't be empty but well big guy empty box what about oh dang it this was supposed to be in there this is one of the oh, things i really cool. hope to get a hoverboard empty box again what about the bath cater no nah. What about this one? Oh, that's not empty. Hey. Oh. Where could we sell something like this on the road? Pawn store. Do you think they'll buy a digital indoor <laughs> smokeless grill? I feel like pawn would buy anything. I mean, we're in Vegas, so we'll try. <laughs> yeah. This drill, empty. Mr. Fire, that does feel like it's in there. That's a storage on it, so I wonder if that means it's actually Mr. Fire. <laughs> it is, but these aren't really expensive new, so I doubt anyone's gonna buy that. That's a good thing to donate. People can use those. For sure. Now that I've moved a bunch of stuff, I guess I'll go into the original box I went to pull down. Ugh. I guess I made my table a little higher. This one looks like the shoe box. Let's see if we see any designer or something we'd be able to sell in Vegas. Uh, Gap, Skechers, not really. It looks like a lot of lower end stuff, which isn't good for our sales idea, but they are good to, you know, donate to people in need. So this one will definitely go with a lot of the other stuff to a local homeless shelter. Next little green box here. Let's see what's in this guy. I'm still wanting my Louis Vuitton purses. Oh, what is this? Are these like gift sets? Okay. Little gift sets. I don't see prices on them. I'm a guess they're probably not too expensive. Oh, again, that better not be another fake one. You see this? I do. I swear I will sue these people at this point. They've already trolled me so many times that I'm about to go look this guy up and go to his house and fight him. Oh <laughs> my god. That'd be good content. What do you guys think? Should we go find him and beat him up at his house? <laughs> oh, what is this? This little Velcro, Velcro strip. strip. And these Nordstrom cards. Are these gift cards? These are, let's see. Yeah, these are gift cards. Right. So maybe they'll have some money on them, I hope. We'll definitely look into that. But this right here, this is illegal. It is. There's other ones here. Okay, oh, cool. Ooh. 
Get out, get out, get out. Burger King. Burger King, have it your way. Apple. Uh, kickback points. I don't know what that one is. And then Nordstrom again. You know what the great good part is? I mean, they could have obviously just wiped it, but none of the things on the back cover up the little code or scratch. So that means if they were going to use them online, they're unused. But if they were used in person, they could have just been swiped. But we'll see. I'm so tired of seeing my fake $100 bills. Ooh, is that a necklace? Come on. Come on. Come on. That is a Nordstrom. What? Oh, it's a gift card. Hey. We might have some serious money to Nordstrom here. I really hope these are unused. If they're unused, that will be sweet. What if they're all just like stuff somebody got in Vegas? More eyebrows. Eyelashes. Sorry. <laughs> this thing, don't put me on the spot. What's the little box? Is there anything in there? Let's see. No, nothing. But this right here, this looks interesting. Oh, guess. I was hoping it would say Gucci, but pair of guest shoes. Um, definitely used, so it's more of a donation pair again. Not big money, but it could definitely help somebody get a job interview. Who knows what? Anything like that. An iconic style professional blow dryer. These could definitely be expensive. Christian S on it. I wonder where again, like one of the clothes. Oh, I see an iPhone box. Oh, do you? Oh my oh. God. I was just about to assume the blow dryer was in there and I looked in there and I saw Apple logo. Okay. Okay. A little different. That's got weight to it. This is an Oh my god. This is an iPhone 7 box. Come on. It's so annoying. <laughs> Suspense. Oh, no. Okay, not in there. That's, just, that's just one. That's just one. This one here is an iPhone 6. Come on. One of these got to be in there. No. No phone. Ah, that's, that's got something under it. The manual. Yeah, dang it. This one's wrapped in plastic. Ooh. iPhone 6s. Come on. One of you Apple things got to be in there. No. I don't see it. No. You brought my dreams up and then you're killing them. Oh, that one feels really light, I could be honest. The other ones did feel like they had weight too. I wasn't lying. This one feels light, but I'm still going to check it because these guys like never know where they can put money at. Empty. Mm. Eh. The four, maybe. This one, about to say, no, this one didn't feel like it. This one here, possibly, but it, nah. Dang it. This though, nah, this is the lightest. This is lighter than the iPhone box. Well, dang it. Dang, dang it. it. Dang it. Well, there's that. And there's also this bag in here. Now I've got to check that grill. Because what if it's not yeah. even the grill? Let's look in here. Oh, what is that? Something this is an there. ultra 24 karat pure moisturizing day. Ah. ah, that's my kind of moisturizer too. Yep, just burn your face up, you know? Yeah. Make it easy. Uh, This right here, anything, come on, come on, come on, come on. Empty, there's little tiny pieces like this of aluminum foil, so that's not a good thing to see. Ashtray, this, more lighters, man. How many lighters does one person need? Nothing. What is that? 3D filler mask? Okay, it is something in there. Last thing in this box, little pink guy. Nothing. So I want to open the grill because I wanted to make sure and unfortunately it is in there But the unfortunate part is that it's very very used So I don't think we're gonna be able to sell this at any pawn shop or anything I think we'll just add it to the donation pile for the homeless shelter sword fight. I got my blade. I don't no. have anything I really do have a blade. Oh, blade. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't joking. I also took out that it looks like medical things that go over like a bed So again great for some people that can need them. Let's get to this next red round box right here. Come on, buddy Come on. Oh, that wasn't opening the way I was hoping it would. This is a empty box. Why do these people keep empty boxes? This is used makeup stuff. So we're gonna set that right here. This one is, it looks a little bit more random. Let's open it up and, well, book. This looks like it could be a wallet potentially. Oh, no makeup type kit. So random, 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 random. Nothing too promising in that tote, but there's a tote under it right here. This guy looks open a little, out. what do you say? Oh, do you? Let's see. Oh, it's a belt thing. You see a camera? No. A lift master. And. Dang it. Mm. Open that one. Let's open that one out of all of them. Let's open that one. I thought it was a camera. I see your intentions now. I see your intentions. You wanted me to open that on camera. The heck is that? It's like a bean bag. And yeah, other than that, it's like a rope tie. So this one, mostly just some donation trash. I think I see a cup of money in it in here. And if it's fake, I swear. I'm not, no more joking. If it's fake, we're just gonna find the guy or woman, whatever it is. Where did that cup go? I just saw it. I just, I just saw it. I just saw it. Hey. Yes. We got approximately 30, 40 cents. We're doing things hey, here. Hey, 30 or 40 cents? Towards St. Jude's. Yes. Exactly. The rest of it though is bathroom stuff. So we're just gonna set this guy. Actually, let's be smart and put the top back on it. There we go. And then we'll just set it right there. And we'll go ahead and pull up the next one because there's three of these guys right on top of each other that look very similar. This one here, well, this one looks very random and I'm very weary of putting my hands in stuff right now because you remember that adult toy box that we pulled out of the other one? 
it wasn't an adult toy. It was a very, very used questionable activity device. It has like a circular base and then an extending <laughs> piece. If you catch my drift, so there's some pennies in here. Um, I'm seeing random, what is that, ABI? This looks like hotel stuff. All right, random, random, random makeup. What about this, what about this? Should I just pour it out in there? What about this, is that a phone? No, oh, I'm gonna pour it out in, oh, a wallet though, a wallet. I keep about to pour it and something cool shows up. Yeah, we're dumping it. Let's dump it inside the tote. All right, all right. This right here, okay, okay. And look what's in here, just a random baggie in this one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nothing else in there. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're done with this tote. Let's just let's end it. This one's bad. Last tote of that kind. It looks like bathroom, but I do see like a metal container like this right here. I'm sure I wanted to see what was in there. What's that say? Bats Maru? Empty. Anything else in there besides the bathroom? Nah, I think the rest of it's just bathroom. You know, I'm getting really sick and tired of this. Getting very, very sick and tired of this. I, how much fake money have we found in this unit? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Well, you know what? We found a lot of good stuff, I think, too. Let's see what's in this tote. A little bit bigger now. It's hopefully something different. More jumper cables. This right here is a hammer, some scissors, and a pair of pliers. Again, we might keep some of these tools because I feel like we're going to need them on our journey. We're just getting started. This is only Vegas. State number two. Air pump, jumper cables. Whoa, what's in here? This is heavy. A uh, little vacuum for your car. And black trash bag. And is this actual doll treats? Okay, yeah. And yeah, this looks more like car stuff. Let's go into this big old box now and see what we got in here. Pull it out a little bit. Ugh, okay. Let's see what we got. Sketcher Sport. Uh -huh, I don't think so. I don't think those are quite Sketchers, but they are in there, so there's that. We got some big old boots. What is that bag? That looks like either a shooting or a camera bag. Either which way, it excites me. These are shoes again used, so more likely we just donate those. This right here though, that that's at the train. We'll go to that in a second. What else is in here? This feels like a license plate, is it? It's two. Two license plates. This guy. Oh, oh. what? Oh. Woo. Well, we'll Whoa. set that right there. I like the sound of that. I very, very, very much agree. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. Whoa, Apple Store gift cards. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Okay, set this aside. The one box I decided to do, let's just open right here instead of taking out. It's been like incredible so far. This is what? Like a robe or something? I don't, I don't know. Not sure. I'm going to turn this upside down. Because I want to be able to dig through it pretty well. Pretty good. Not seeing much. Not seeing much. There's matches in there. All right. Very random. But there was... This right here is a speaker. There's two more boxes at the bottom. This and this. That I wanted to look inside of. Oh. No. Apple! Okay. Let's look in this guy first. Right here. It's definitely not the shoes it says it is. I can tell you by the weight. It's another pair of shoes. <laughs> All right. I never heard of that brand though, have you? Superga? Superga. Nope. People's shoes of Italy. I feel like everything we buy from Italy is expensive. I'm gonna set them aside just in case. This, well, a little more random. Paper, there's a little jewelry bag, nothing in it. What about the icebreakers? Nothing, it feels like nothing, but yeah, it's nothing. Random, there's a gun. I mean, kinda, right? Yeah. <laughs> random. Oh, man, let's put this all over here. Papers. Papers galore. What's that card? That's a Treasure Island Players Club. This is all papers, papers. Well, there's Apple something. It's supposed to be earphones, but they're not in there. And not seeing much else. What about this little thing? Is this like a rolling or makeup or mirror? I'll figure it out in a second. Well, this, by the way, is delicious. Yes. Here's that gum. All right. Let's look over here. So we got one, at least three Apple gift cards to add to our pile of gift cards that we have to call very soon. And I'm hoping that means there's something in there. How the world do I open this? It's really bothering me. Okay, yeah. just a mirror. Now we know. Let's go to the little one first. Come on, something cool. I want like silver coins. Again. Slide it. Slide it. Oh, well, that one's all pennies. But you know, pennies are pennies. There's still something. Pokemon. Come on, Pokemon. I like that. I like that. Up other way. You ready? Well, very random. Let's see, let's drop some junk in there as we go. Like these cards, these are like hotel cards mostly. Almost exclusively up there. Look, here's an iTunes card. So we are gonna have to check to see that. I'm gonna set these cards over here as well so we can look through them and see what's gift Watch cards and fingers. what's not. Watch what do you see? Questionable. Oh. Yeah, there's definitely a questionable activity device. There's a coin under it too. 
Um, let's see, hold on. Well, this is junk, this is junk, junk, junk. Is that a Zippo? No. Uh, can you like, do you mind getting out of my box? Questionable activity device? Thank you. All right, I just want that coin right there. What is that? Come here. That is Edgewater one. I was hoping it'd be silver, but it doesn't look like it is. What's this guy? I don't even know, but very random. I'll keep the coin out just in case. And the last thing would be this box, right? Or this bag, I mean. I have a bad habit of calling bags boxes. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to say box. Camera, but what kind of camera? A Sony, it's really old. Look at the side of that. It's a Sony Handycam Vision. Our camera is Sony Handycam, but obviously a much more new one. So I'm hoping this could have some type of value, maybe to like a camera shop, collectors that likes to see the old school stuff, but obviously it's gonna have no regular everyday use value. And just camera accessories through the sides. Two cardboard boxes left, and then we got some totes to get into. Let's see what's in the cardboard boxes. It is, whoa, what is this? Pictures, really old pictures. Yeah, nothing else in that guy. So let's set it aside. I, hello. Hi, how you doing? Tevi, Cox, what is that? Oh, it's a router. <laughs> that was probably supposed to be returned, but you know, that. Color choice, what is that? Is that a lockbox? <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh. This is the same store. Remember last time we found money, it was in the safe box. Wasn't yeah. It? Oh my goodness. Well, let's see, does it open? Or oh, he said a coat on, well. Dang it, dang it, oh no, this opens. There's nothing in there, is it? Well, everyone dreams, I can dream too. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, randomness, uh, yeah, nothing in there. What about this over here? Ugh, this is about to stab me, man. What is this? What the heck? Whoa, check that out. That's actually really cool. This is thing I might keep. I think I know a buyer for that. We'll talk to him later. Yeah. This, uh, let's see, pictures and some picture frames. Nothing there. What about the Ulta bag at the bottom? That's the last thing. Is it more pictures? Unfortunately, it is pictures in a jar and two cards. These are just both Sino cards. Let me make sure. We don't care if the jar is great. No. There's a little stack card, same ones, casino. Yeah, the rest of it's probably mostly garbage. Last of the cardboard boxes, then all we have is totes. Let's see what's in here. Come on, something cool. This makeup, this garbage. <laughs> this definitely got something in it. Let's see what that something is. <laughs> I don't want to know what those are for after finding stuff in this unit. What we'll if pretend we didn't see them? How about that? Did you see any bags? I didn't see any. This right here, all pill bottles too. Oh, lovely, with some pills in them. Oh, nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This bag here. What's the brand on that? See that? Caboodles? Caboodles? That's the one I've never heard of before. Let's see anything in there. Some makeup stuff. Sponges. There. Um, <laughs> oh no, not a snooze. Sorry. I don't know why I made me get an accent. <laughs> that was a very bad, like, what accent would you get? American's interpretation of a very bad, like, Australian, Australian I guess. Snooze. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was weird. This. <laughs> and now you have to be on camera and endure this. I do. I'm taking it on the chin. <laughs> This is, uh, do I want to know? Do I really want to know? This is like a triple, I, I joke you not. This is like a triple pipe. Man, these people here. These are some fancy people. I'm not coming in contact with that. Let's dump this out. Is that the same bag I already went through down here? Am I stupid or is that a different bag? No, it's the same one. Okay, let's dump this out. Let's see what else is in here. Anything, papers and papers. Uh, I don't want to know. Yeah, this one's pretty much gonna go straight to the garbage. Now my turn again. I'm gonna get these bags up off the top. Ooh, Ooh there it that. is, Louis Vuitton box. Woo, maybe that's where the other purse is. For a second, I forgot that was even up there. There's a lot of stuff in this unit, and pictures are deceiving. <laughs> yes, they are. So this bag right here is just empty. This looks like just a bag of bags. It's like really light. Everybody's got one. Yeah, everybody has one. I think at least every unit too. All right. All right. We know I'm what we want. To touch it. You know what we want. It's got weight. That is. Oh yes. Come on. All right. Come ready? on. Let's do it. Two, three. No. Oh, okay. This is like a um, ever going Christmas present. Are you <laughs> kidding? Come on. No. 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 Are you? This joking? is the last one. There's nothing in there. Maybe that's where that little wallet came in. Maybe. It was just like a triple know. box wallet. It's well, actually like a million dollars. I wonder. Like, do Louis Vuitton boxes have value? So I have no idea. I'm not the designer person. Maybe. I I feel like everything clothes. has value. Unless yeah. it's like a piece of paper, you know? And even that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Well, I guess it? money has value, so. Yeah. All right. Great tote. Uh, hey. What is that? A fur coat? Is it? Check it out. All right. I mean, I feel it's like a fur coat. 
Let me see if I can just see a brand up here real quick. Love Culture. Made in China. And there's another one back here that I don't see a brand right here, but it's probably like inside the sleeve or something. All right. All right, Love here's that. another one. This is Count Test. I know you probably can't see that. Uh, and this Count one, Test. Count Test again. Never heard of that brand. So this clear tote right here is just all nicely folded clothes. So I'm just gonna drop this here. Donations. Donate. And you wanna come in here? Sure, we can do it that It's way. a nice stack or whatever. We can change the angle a little bit. Right here. Oh, I see okay. a bag. All right, we have some randomness in here. Let's see what's in this black bag. What is in here? It looks like socks, underwear. Just what I like came to Vegas for. Shapewear. <laughs> and then in this one, what's in here? Feels like soft. Okay, I was about to say, like, I don't um, want to touch it. I think it's like shapewear or like lingerie or something. All right. Let's move that tape. What's in this tote? A bra. Bras, okay, it's like four bras. Hopefully it's not all clothes. Hopefully, unless it's, you know, living. Nice clothes. All right, and what, what is, is this that? box? Oh. What so is it? This is, looks like a straightener. Yeah. Straightener or curler or something. Um, and this thing is probably one of those, yeah, makeup organizer type thing or All bathroom right. organizer. That's a lot of makeup, huh? Yeah, we have a lot of makeup stuff down here, which I'm assuming all these bags that I'm about to open are probably full of makeup. Good assumption. Check that out. Makeup. This whole box right here. Look at it. Makeup. Makeup. Let me see what's in the front. I just wanted to open it from the top. All I see is makeup, makeup brushes. This pillow cover. Let me put this on the ground. All right, this right here. I can't see through it. Let's see what that is. Uh, some random paper and makeup. I think uh, there's a eyelashes. Theme. More makeup stuff. More makeup stuff. And this last tote right here. Let's see what's in this. And that seems mm. to be it. We got. Let's see, we have makeup. No way. No way. Next tote right here is Christmas colors. Let's Christmas see the Christmas present. Decoration. No, no don't say that. <laughs> Well, that was my guess. I was hoping not, but <laughs> here like it is. A cuss word. <laughs> it is. It really is. In our business. This is like a laptop bag. There's nothing in there. Nice laptop bag, though. A thing of water. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, another laptop bag. And some randomness down here. This one seems heavy. What's in here? What's that? Uh oh. I don't like uh, the feeling of this. Uh, uh, just rip a little bit and look at the color. It's either a questionable activity device or a, you know, bedroom questionable. Questionable. Yeah, we're just going to leave that in there. Questionable activity device. That does not need to be seen. I feel like they've had one in every pocket. No kidding. Or tote or box. This person lived an exciting life, huh? Yeah. Full um, of drugs and pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> this thing. Alltech Lansing? Mm, okay. What the heck is this? Speaker or something, maybe? It has to be, because I don't. it doesn't, like, open. All right. Okay, speaker. Well, we're going to assume that's speaker. Um, down here, we have Skagen. Maybe it was a watch or something. Looks like it. A pulse oximeter. This thing is just empty. A doorknob. A doorknob. <laughs> this bag has just some books in it. Nothing else. Then we have, I don't know, what is that? License plate cover or something? I don't know. Maybe. This thing, license plate cover and a license plate and an empty bag. Last thing we have down here in the co corner is a red cooler. I don't, I, I'm not really looking forward to opening this up. <laughs> I'm right. kind of scared. Ready? Yeah. I feel like I need to run away quick. Uh, what a surprise. Okay. I mean, it's just like wine, alcohol, and then this box. I'm glad it's not food. Put it yeah. that way. This thing. What this is, is like the cup? <laughs> biggest non-surprise of the unit. I know. We got three things with us. We got the purses and some of the new clothes. We got the stack of gift cards and we got a camera. So we're going to go try to find a camera shop, a clothes shop, and we're going to check these gift cards to see how much money we can make to donate to St. Jude's. Let's do it. So we're here at Plato's Closet. They buy like high-end clothes and whatever and resell. So I'm going to take all the clothes in the tote, the coach purse, and any of the new clothes that we found and see what we can get for them. Let's go. Fortunately, couldn't record anything in there because they had me like check in through my phone but they essentially said we wait about an hour and we'll come back and see what they take while we wait for plato's closet to go through our clothes and see how much money we got i figure we go get lunch because we keep like accidentally fasting for nearly 24 <laughs> hours we haven't eaten since in and out last night at like five and it's already almost two was so it? it was five okay. oh something five something to famous dave's hi how are you yeah for two perfect thank you I'm so full now. I know after not eating 24 hours, my stomach was kind of shrunk, but Famous Dave's was really good. 
Cheers. So we're on the way to a media store to sell the DVDs and we've passed by a Nordstrom rack. So we knew we had the gift cards. Let's go check to see what they have on them. Hi. I didn't know if you'd be able to check to see what were on these. Oh yeah, I can do that. Okay, because I tried to call it, try to send me directly like customer service. It says this one's not active. That's fine. That one too. I got them out of a storage unit this morning. They don't have any money in them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, easy enough. Thank you guys for checking. You're welcome. There you go. Have a good one. No money, unfortunately. We just got the text message from Plato's Closet it is ready. So we're gonna head back over there and see how much money our clothes and purses are worth. Fingers crossed, we get some big money for St. Jude's. You're just picking up, right? Yes. What's your name again? Amber. Uh, so we do have the ones in the bin here. It's gonna be four for 2015. You wanna do cash? Yes. So this is what you couldn't take? This is what we are taking. Are taking, okay. okay. Here you go. Thank you. So what they took wasn't much. We got 20 bucks, but at least it's something going to St. Jude's, right? Now we've made it to Zia Records who buys music, CDs, and DVDs, and other forms of media. So we're gonna take our box of DVDs in there and see what we can get for them. So for the DVDs and the camera from Zia Records, we got $35. That puts us at a total of $55 because of the 20 from earlier from Play-Doh's. $55 for Vegas, right to St. Jude's, which is great. We've now gone from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, and that is a lot of people trafficking congestion. So we've decided, you know what, for the next state, we want to go to the, one of the most open and beautiful states in the country, which is Utah. Let's go ahead and make that $55 donation. Yes, we're going to add that extra $1.10 so they get the full 55 let's go ahead and donate guys this is showing more than ever we're gonna need your help to make this come true so make sure you're liking the videos and make sure you're subscribing because those pennies will add up we gained over 70,000 subscribers last month that would be over 700 more dollars so share it everywhere and I promise you I know we can hit that ten thousand dollars 100 bucks yeah. an Apple laptop we got a HP Chromebook like this a PlayStation wallet okay oh, there's stuff in the purses okay. all right all right <laughs> 